thought yeah. you had the Yankees, my bad. Yeah, push no. your North Shore Bears. Wow, it's really? <laughs> Back here with Kenny, we're talking bad Chiefs guy. and Pats. The young upstart Patrick Mahomes going against the grizzled veteran Tom Brady. Or in other words, great going against Greg Tist. Keep in mind their age difference here. Mahomes was six when Brady won his first Super Bowl with the Patriots. Now, he's admitted to modeling parts of his game after him, needless to say. Patrick Mahomes is excited to take on the legendary quarterback. He is one of the greatest quarterbacks, if not the greatest quarterback to ever play. And so for us, we're going to just go in. And like you said, I'm going against their defense. But I, as a team, we're going to go in and just try to compete. And, uh, I mean, they're a good team in the AFC every single year. And so just get to compete against one of the best teams in the league is going to be an awesome opportunity. He works extremely hard taking care of his body. He works. He puts everything he has into football. And uh, it is going to be a great opportunity just to go up against him and that team. Rough here. It is rough. <laughs> Poor Mahomes opens his mouth, and it is tough times <laughs> here. He's got a very unique voice. Unique. Oh, you know unique his teammates the... got to be getting at him in the locker room. Oh, yeah. Andy, Andy Reid does, Andy does, Reed does, does a Patrick Mahomes impersonation. <laughs> it's very funny. All right, which quarterback has the edge Sunday? Who do you think, Mahomes or Tom Brady? Man, the guy with the voice. Pat Mahomes still got the voice from the six-year-old when Tom won his first Super Bowl. I mean, he's still a six-year-old being interviewed. Like, he can't go on a blind date. You know, you got to send some pictures and stuff of him and everything. Because if it's a blind date on the first hello, she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. You need to send some credentials. Hey, I'm a great quarterback. I'm starting in the NFL. NFL no record. And so, I mean, yeah. But, I, mean, okay. I mean, Tom Brady wasn't no fit. Giselle wasn't Thanks. dating him early in his career either. True story. I mean, he went through a True few story. other people uh -huh. before he got to the model. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. all right. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mah uh, what's the question? I'm going to go to Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, okay. 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 I'm sorry. Candy, we're I'm going so to you. Sorry. Who has the edge on Sunday? Well, you got to say, it, it, it's, it's Tom Brady, right? I mean, listen, in the Brady Belichick era, quarterbacks that are 25 years old or younger are 0 23 on the road. So that goes back to the point that I made yesterday just about Pat Mahomes not seeing a whole lot of football. This is his sixth NFL start. So, I mean, he's not going to have all the answers for what Belichick is going to throw at him in terms of defensive fronts and coverages. But one thing that Belichick said this week caught my attention, and it kind of gives you some insight into what he's telling his team in terms of an overview of what this Kansas City Chiefs offense is like. He talked about the team speed and Tyreek Hill, saying that if you take the fastest person on most teams, Tyreek Hill is still probably fast than that guy. And it showed last year in the season opener when Hill went seven catches, 133 yards, and a touchdown. Nine of Tyreek Hill's 27 catches this year are 20 yards or more. So there's going to be some explosive plays in this Chiefs offense. But, CC, you made this point yesterday about the Pats. They a lot of, allow a lot of yardage between the 20s, mm -hmm. but they tighten up once they get in the red zone. So Bill Belichick, they're going to play top-down coverage. They'll let you chew up yardage in the middle of the field. But when it gets in the scoring area, they're going to try to tighten up and then throw some different things at Pat Mahomes, see if he can make a mistake in a critical phase of the game that can bail his defense out. So that's one of the things I'm going to be looking for. And that's why one of the reasons the Chiefs have been so successful this year is they've been the third best red zone team in football. They haven't turned the ball over. They've been great in the red zone. That's a good way to get to 5-0. and what, As far as who has the edge, I, I told you guys a week ago, for the Chiefs, wasn't worried about the Jags game, should be very worried about this game. I think it's the toughest game on their schedule, and I think Brady has the edge almost exclusively because he gets to go against the Chiefs defense as opposed to having to go against the Patriots defense like Mahomes is going to have to. But I thought Pat Mahomes said something very interesting in a clip we didn't play, which was talking about trying to, that when he was at Texas Tech, that the head coach there, Cliff Kingsbury, showed him tape of Brady and his mobility within the pocket. Because that is going to be the key in this game for Mahomes. You know the Pats all week long are going to drill. Don't let him escape the pocket. Don't let him get out to the outside. Or, you know, maintain your edge discipline or maintain your lanes and keep him in the pocket. And where Brady is as good as any quarterback I've ever seen is his footwork in the pocket. He's never running around, but he's always moving around. And his mobility in the pocket, that is something that I want to see how Mahomes is able to do this week's game because I guarantee guarantee that's what the Pats are working on leading up to the game. If you take the quarterbacks out, what is the key to this game? How, how do the Chiefs have a chance to beat the Patriots? They got to go run the ball. We know New England's going to be afraid of their speed, and I don't care how they run. I don't care if they run speed sweeps, fake speed sweeps, but you have to be able to run the ball against New England. You got to put stress on their linebackers. New England is a great leverage team. That means they're outside guys. It's hard to get them hooked and hard to get around them. So 
in doing that, they create some gaping holes off tackle. So when you run the ball against New England, they don't have the team speed to be able to match you. So you know they're going to try to out leverage you. For me, between the tackles, I'm running Kareem Hunt. He's going to be the most valuable player to me in this game because I think he's the only part that New England, they can't defense. They can't defense him from a physical standpoint, and they can't guard him in space. So to me, he's the guy that I would have a spotlight on, Chris, no, as we watch this game. CC, you're absolutely right. And yeah, that's I saw the one your thing, notes. That's the one thing, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the one thing that Bill Belichick can't allow this Chiefs offense to be, is to be able to have multiple, multiple dimensions. They, mm -hmm. can't, they can't allow him to be able to run the ball and to be able to throw the ball. you got to take one of those things away. And so I think that Belichick is going to have to dictate the complexion of this game and get up on this Chiefs. Chiefs offense early and let the scoreboard dictate to what the Chiefs can do because one of the things he talked about in his press conference this week is how the Kansas City Chiefs have outscored their opponents in the first quarter yep. 59 to 9 mm -hmm. so just being able to control the complexion of the game because mm -hmm. the one game where the Chiefs struggled the probably their mostly closely contested game Broncos. was against the Denver Broncos yep. and they had to come from behind yep. in that game so control the complexion of the game get out to an early lead against this Chiefs offense all right Chris stick around got to take a break coming up who's got the edge tonight on Thursday night football that is next on first things first might be a little wet just a, a little, little storm surge just a little bit